Morning guys. So in our last video, we were making our way from Mumbai to Uganda and we finally arrived. So today we're gonna show you around. Yesterday we had a bit of an explore and then the day before that we were on the beach and yeah, the Indian sun got the better of me. So as you can see, I'm kind of covered up because I did get a bad sunburn. Uh, feeling a lot better now today. So we are going to go exploring the beach. We're gonna show you from the start of the beach up here where we are and all the way down and just show you the different accommodations that's here also and then the beautiful beach as well and yeah we're gonna get a few drone videos as well that's the plan and then we're gonna get breakfast in our accommodation and then we'll show you all our accommodation as well so that's the plan for today So guys, this is the famous Aganda Beach. As you can see, it goes on for quite a while. It goes all the way down here. And then day before yesterday, we explored here. And then we went up onto the rocks. And yeah, there's cool black crabs there as well. There's actually loads of them. And then we swam there for a good while as well. So all the accommodations here, they're all in a line on the beach. So you've got all these wooden cabins. Some of them are kind of like two stories, so you can like, your cabin is looking right out onto the ocean and then other ones then are just going backwards. So here's ones here. So that's three of them there. And then they look right out onto the ocean here. So yeah, it's um, very good. Our one we were pricing for the day we were meant to leave was 40 euro for the night and that is you're basically looking right onto the beach. You have your own balcony, you have your own privacy. And yeah, I don't think you get that in many European countries. I don't think anywhere in the world really. You get like 40 euro for that view. And it's really good price. So we've been eating in our accommodation for the last few nights. As uh, a problem with our, we only have our card and our phone, so that's the reason. And But yeah, you can go into next door to the other accommodations and you can get their food there, get drinks there as well. And our hotel last night had a singer. So I think that was playing till about one or two o'clock last night. And I think that's only on the weekends as well. But as you can see now, it is getting a bit busier. But the Indian sun is so strong though that, yeah, many people don't come out until like the evening time. I'll just show you a few more of the accommodations here. So they're basically like just all in a line. And then you've got like the top ones up there, the bungalows, which are pretty cool. And then like you've got the, every accommodation has their restaurant right beside it. So you've got like your hotels and stuff, and then you've got your restaurant then beside it as well. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, we like this beach, don't we? It's nice and white. And then the other beach was called Palema. Yeah, Palema, that's a bit more touristy. I think it's a bit more partying going on there as well. This place is a bit more relaxing as well. More families. And as we say, it, it doesn't really get busy until like the evening time. So yeah guys, also there is boats here as well, catamarans, and you can rent them out. And we saw the day before yesterday, there was like a family went and then they brought you over to the different islands and beaches which is pretty cool because there's some really nice beaches around the place also. And I don't think we're gonna have enough time to get to them. So that's why we're kind of making our home here right on this beach. And yeah, as you can see, just over here is the meringues. And then there's guys down there as well. So you can ask them how much it is. Don't think it'd be that expensive and you get to see all the beaches as well. And yeah, that's everything. You can also rent out kayaks also. There's like all kayaks all around the place also and you can rent them out. And that's really it. So we are gonna make our way down here now. And then I'm gonna try and use my drone maybe because the sun is too strong back there. And down here is a bit more shadow. So I'm gonna get a few drone shots now. Good. These are the boats. And they seem to do different ones, so I saw one back there, 
and it said for dolphin trip as well and then there's the beach one as well so they obviously do a lot of different ones and then as we said we were further up here and they brought family out as well so if we had more time here we'd probably do it but for now we're heading over here to the shade so I can take out my drone and finally get to use it because I haven't used my drone in quite a while so it's going to be cool to get some aerial shots of the island it looks really cool Guys, we went to the end beach where we were the first day. Uh, it's just a lot quieter here, and yeah, we went for a swim up there. We invested in some snorkel gear while we were in Brazil, and yeah, that's what the water is. The water is not clear. Maybe in the evening time it might be, but yeah, the, just in the morning time it's very um, it's like green, and yeah, there's just nothing around. There's no fish. There's nothing. So we are on the way over to these rocks now and yeah we found a rock and it's like a I don't think it was carved out to be a fish but I think just over time I don't know, the erosion of the water I don't know it looks like a fish I was the first one to notice it and the cool thing about over here is as well is there's a load of black crabs I've never seen black crabs before back home they're usually kind of just like the white ones so we're going to show you now there's loads of them it's like uh, even the sand as well i don't know for me anyways and i could say you never seen this did you no, no. you never saw the crabs doing them designs even in brazil no. um yeah it's like kind of like a a flower it's very strange how to do it <clears throat> but we were watching them we were watching them the last day and they were doing it it's like they're making little balls and then it turns into like this one big like flower so it's pretty cool to see but yeah just gonna show you now before they run away on us it's very hard to see them that's the problem it's like when they hear you they run no it's like when they see us oh hang on it's very hard to see them you might see them running up the wall over here hang on last thing i do now because i've already stepped in coral the last few minutes so no there's nothing. We're gonna bring you over here instead. Without falling. Hang on. But there is, there's loads of them. And they're quite big as well. But I think once they hear those humans coming, like everything else, they run away. So if I do go quiet for uh, if we do go quiet for a couple of seconds, you'll know why. Don't wanna fall either. But yeah, it's nice. We did see a sign though the first day saying no selfies allowed. We don't know if that's to do with, I don't know, if that's like an old law here or not. But it's the first time I've ever seen one. So. Careful here. Yeah. We used to. Well, it's a good few the first day we came. There yeah, is. You come the other side there. Careful We're going to try and walk to the water. Problem is that the water is so shallow at the minute. And then there's rocks as well, so just gonna show you around what we've been seeing until I come across. Ah, I'm gonna run. Ah, see them? Yeah, the small ones. I'm. I get to tell me to be quiet. I'm talking too much. So they're here. There's loads of them. It's like a whole family. Yeah, guys, there's loads of them, but eh, just too quick. Like when we get to it, there's like there is, literally, there's about fifty of them all together in a pack, and then when you go there, they just all hide. So I'm just gonna jump here. No. 
it's like they hear your comments like they have senses but yeah there's like there's so many though I've never seen that many crabs I'm sure they'll probably catch them here at the restaurant as well because we've seen crabs in our restaurant in our place where we stayed crabs for dinner and lobster as well so I'd say they're pretty nice especially when they're fresh coming from the ocean right beside us and did you find any? they're gonna run away so guys this is it here for me it looks like a fish I'm gonna they drop the stuff down hang on so this is the body and you can see the eye here. I'm gonna try and get a bit closer to it. It's um I'm not sure if it's just been carved out or it's been just over time. See, there's the eye, the mouth, and then this is the, the whole body. So it's pretty cool. We only noticed when we were here the last day. And then I'm not sure. I really wanted to go up there. It's like a rock point up there. Really wanted a bit of hiking, but we went over the first day and I said to Agatha that there was a monkey and Agatha said there wasn't a monkey. And then about 10 minutes later, we went over and there was like loads of monkeys in the trees. So yeah, I don't think it's that safe. And then Agatha, you were saying as well, weren't you? It's like an open forest. Yeah. So, you don't know what's in it and then it's not safe either it could be snakes and stuff as well so yeah we're not going to go there but even if we could get up here it'd just be a nice viewpoint because everyone does be at the beach for the sunset so if we could make our way even just up there for sunset it'd be cool but yeah our plan today is to get breakfast now because we haven't ate and then our plan is to go to another beach, isn't it? White Beach. Where is that? White Beach. It's 50 minutes walk from here. Okay. So we may as well because we're staying here an extra day due to our flight being the day after. So it's just easier to go. And yeah, I said it's like 15 minutes away. So it's a lot smaller beach. 15. 15? 15. Oh, 50 Five minutes. Zero. Ah, it's like 50 minute walking. Yeah. Ah, I thought it was 15 minutes walking. So yeah, we're going to say I thought it was 15 minutes. So 50 minutes. I suppose we have nothing else. Maybe even go like later on when the sun isn't so strong. For sunset. Even for sunset, yeah, because it's it gets really hot here. So yeah, guys, I hope you've seen some of these crabs. Uh, the was loads of them and then when they come, they just disappear. So also I got some good drone videos. So I've got like ones just been over the beach side, left, right, backwards. It's gonna be pretty cool. I think I could just found something, no? Just found something. Oh okay. It's alive. No, it's dead. It's dead, ah. That's one here. But sadly it's dead. So yeah guys, as I said, we're gonna get breakfast now and then we'll decide then what we're gonna do afterwards. So guys, we're just back in our accommodation now. And the name of this cafe is Pirate's Cave. So they said we've been eating here as well because the whole card issue. But we're getting that sorted next week because... My friend is bringing out the cards for us. <laughs> Woo! -hoo! So after nearly three months of traveling, yeah. we finally have a card. Thanks to him. <laughs> yeah, so a big shout out, thank you. So yeah, we're kind of limited on what we're eating here because we're eating quite a lot here, aren't we? And we're starting to run out of things as well to eat. So for breakfast, I think I'm just going to go pancakes because I've had dinner here and I've had the thing twice. And then we had, oh, we had spaghetti bolognese last night, but it was chicken and it was spice, wasn't it? Yeah. It was nice. It's just, it's very spicy, the food here, isn't it? And it's like, yeah. Not as bad. Not as bad, but everything is spice in it. So if you've got like a, not a great stomach, yeah, 
we're gonna have a few problems in India. But anyways, I'll show you the menu. So it starts off with like, hang on. So you have like your healthy breakfast. It's not that healthy. No, because it's got it's pancakes. It's got pancakes, chocolate pancakes. It's got honey pancakes. Then you got your breakfast. Then you got beers, yes. gin, vodkas, champagnes, salads. Starters, quick slides. They got like a lot of difference. That's the seafood here. And then here was, it said before about the crabs. Oh, it was there. It said to pre order your crabs. Yes. Ah, there. So pre order your crabs. And yeah, I'd say it'd be pretty nice, especially as we said, so many crabs around the place. So we are going to get. I don't know yet. I don't know yet either. So guys, we finally ordered our food. We got two club sandwiches and we got a smoothie, smoothie, strawberry smoothie. And you got... Watermelon juice. So yeah, we're gonna try something a bit different. I was gonna get pancakes and then I thought I'm gonna be hungry again later, especially if we go walking to that beach later on as well. And yeah, the food has been good here, so. Very nice. We're gonna try something different. So this is the view. There's like more here. So you got like one table here, two. Three, four, and then got tables all the way back here as well. And then nice view of the beach as well. And then this is like one of the accommodations here, it's like right on the beach. And then we're nearly sure the other one's there as well. And then I'll show you the other two then, in uh, well, once we've eaten our food, and then we'll show our accommodation as well. Guys, our two club sandwiches came and we'll show you now. So I just got the one with vegetables and then I got the one without and then it came with fries as well. So yeah, it's a pretty good deal. Then I got the strawberry smoothie and I can take got her what was it, mango? Uh watermelon juice. Watermelon juice. And the price of these were two four to each. And then the smoothies were. Mine one is 100 rupees. I don't know. And mine was 250. 250. Do a and trying your food. Oh. Mm -hmm. Looks nice. Is she even didn't ask for vegetables? So I got like extra stuff in it, which is good. Mm. Which is. Good. It's really good. It's really, really good. So guys, we're just gonna show you our accommodation that we've been staying in for the last four nights. And this was 117 euro plus taxes, which came to 120 euro. So yeah, just gonna show you. These are the cabins. There's Agatha. Just kind of a chill out area here. And as you can see, yeah, there's more cabins and then there's two over there and they're looking right out onto the ocean. So yeah, gonna show us our one. So you walk in. This is the bedroom. It's quite spacious. Gets a bit warm at night, but the air conditioning was good. Got a bit of wardrobe space there. Our bags, we're leaving, but we're booked one more night in a different room. So just chew here. And this is the bathroom. So it looks like a bit normal bathroom until you can actually see outside. So you can hear every sound at night time. You go up to the toilet or even a shower. It's pretty cool. And yeah, this accommodation was a bit expensive. It's the most expensive one we've actually probably paid since we went backpacking. But there is not many options, but we did find out when we went to the beach, the last day butterfly beach was that there is a lot more accommodations further up the road. And yeah, they seem to be a lot cheaper. They're away from the beach as well. So it would have been a lot cheaper to do that. But we didn't know and we didn't really want to take the gamble either coming here without accommodation. We've done that once or twice before. And yeah, it's just a bit of hassle. So yeah guys, this is new common house. Really nice, we had a nice rack a few days here and now we're leaving here today. Well, tomorrow we're leaving, so 
just a sunshine to show you your accommodation. So guys, we just came back from the rocks now. And um, we're gonna show you a gondola town. Just the restaurants, pubs, and there's also a massage, there's barbers, there's ice cream shops, there's everything. So yeah, just gonna show you around. There's a few places just very close to us as well. So you've got like different selections and stuff like that. And here we go. So this is like one of the places here. And all the menus are always outside as well. And then here you've just got all souvenirs. Got bags, everything you need. Clothes as well. Very nice clothes actually, isn't there? Very nice. Especially Very for- Very different. Yeah. And then you've got jewelry shops, rugs. These are the clothes here. Really nice women clothes and men's clothes. And yeah, we're on our way now down to a church that Agatha found out about, didn't you? So, we're gonna see if we do sunset down there. And it's not as hot today as well, so it's sure. very good, isn't it? So it's very late, babe. I don't think you're gonna make it to the sunset there. <laughs> True. We're gonna come back to the beach. Probably we're gonna come back to the beach. And here's more clothes. All different ones. So yeah, we're gonna keep walking now. And then once we get there, we shall show you. But the thing, these things are cool actually, so. Like for the beach, I get a bit closer to you and I'll show you. It's like, they are for the beach, aren't they? I think so, I don't know about the big ones, but. They're like just them. big swimming beach towel things. Here they are. If we had money, I'd probably buy one, especially the elephant one. They're really cool. And then they're thin as well, so you could like just fold them up. Really cool. Then you got more swimming stuff here. So we're gonna go now, and then we're gonna see which way we're gonna go to this place. I don't think it's that far, is it? It's only nine minutes walk, so just... Just straight. Just straight. So that's where we're gonna go. So we have just arrived now at the church, and we're not sure if it's open to the public or not, but the church itself is closed. Well, yeah, we're just gonna show you now quickly, in case we do get shown out. But you can see like the details of the church and a lot of buildings around here. It is kind of the Portuguese because they invented Goa in 1510 and yeah it ruled for about 450 years so there's a lot of the culture here the cuisine architecture and there's quite a lot of the Portuguese buildings around so you never thought like a small part of India down south you'd see Portuguese buildings which is very interesting so we're not sure when it opens or when it doesn't open but I think I'm going to come back maybe later on if I can and try and get a drone footage of it because it is really nice and the backdrop to it is the beach also so we're going to leave now and grab some food and then yeah we'll see what we're doing we have no plans we're kind of relaxing today because as we're leaving tomorrow morning but if we do come back with the drone there'll be a drone video on our video if not we're just gonna relax taking the last sunset of Goa and then that's all the plans for today really ah. thank you Also guys, the older generation here, a lot of them speak Portuguese and we were in at an agency today booking our taxi for the airport tomorrow and you know what was her name, didn't you? Yeah, her name was Portuguese. So I didn't know straight away come on Portuguese, yeah. Fairly sure it's still the old generation still speak it. Uh, we haven't came across anyone, well we haven't really asked anyone so. <laughs> True. But, <laughs> It may be a bit hard to speak because we're walking past a few of the restaurants here. But yeah, it's still very interesting to know that even in India, like they speak Portuguese. Obviously, the older generation. True. So, but anyways, back to our food. So, search. So, we're going to try and find it now. Um, not sure what we're going to have. It's going to be like our second, our last meal before we leave here as well. So, as you can see, a lot of these cows coming towards us. Just don't bother with anyone, they're so friendly. So, <laughs> until something yeah. Until something happens. Sorry, excuse me. 
<laughs> Guys, we're just back now from the church and it's not too hot here, so we are going to go to the beach. Uh, we've already showed you the beach before, so there's not much point showing you again. And yeah, we're just going to chill there for the evening. So guys, we hope you liked this video. The next video is going to be of Verkala, and it's another beautiful place here in India. So guys, we hope you liked it. Give us a like and comment, and don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.